all these they need to go open up the briefcase, see what you ask. Uh, Everybody claim to be great at spa times, but they never spend a day in the rain in the front line. No lie. No lie. Stop playing on my phone line. Pull up in the space crew with the roof. I should know. Wonder why they follow suit. I've been groomed from the womb. Came out of my mama with some running in the shoes. That's the dinner speed and bullet. Nah, 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 nah. Cool, cool, cool. Don't play with the bass. Say yourself, okay. what you gonna do?
profile again and I put that on me. Yeah. I feel the way my heart all on my sleeve. Yeah. That's why I had to put my wrist on freeze. Come for the win, can't take another L. Designer on me, this that new Chanel. Did that splash? Did that drill? Yeah, yeah, champion. We are in a sweet spot as far as football weather is concerned today in Nashville. Just enough chill in the air for a sweatshirt, light breeze, fall in full swing at Nissan Stadium. The whole of downtown Nashville likely still reverberating with the sounds of the Titans taking the field a moment ago. They're ready for football as their Titans are set to match up with the Houston Texans. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone. for a touchback. On the ground, this is Derek Henry. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. But Derrick Henry, you may remember last year against Houston in the season finale, 211 yards rushing, one of only two 200-yard games in the NFL last year. And not only that, but that game won in the rushing title because Nick Chubb was the leader, but he struggled in the final week against the Bengals. And then up from behind came Henry. Second and very short, Tannehill throwing the out route incomplete. It's Henry. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 44-yard line. A first look now for Darrington Evans. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the Texans' 43-yard line. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. We got three out here. Hey, hey, hey. Out of the gun, Tannehill. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. It's caught at the ten. Touchdown, Titans. Corey Davis. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And 
this is good. Our score, seven nothing, Tennessee. Makes the score, Titans seven, Texans nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first carry now. This is Johnson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 29-yard line. Watson again. This is Johnson. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Ball carrier. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Man open, that's Damian Ratley. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of nine that's yards. good for nine yards first as they convert Texans. on the third down play. So here's a first and ten at the 38. A shotgun snap for Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a good pick up there of 20 yards. Houston. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. From the gun, here's Watson. He's got his tight end. It's Fells. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Running from the gun, Johnson. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. The ball carrier. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Seven yard pickup. From the gun. Watson. He gets it left side to Johnson. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. It'll go down as a two yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Operating from the gun. Watson flush to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13 yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up seven zip. You would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. He's brought down. At the oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. On second down, here's Henry. 
And they'll get him down here at the 23. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Nice carry there by Derrick Henry. Picks up a first down. And when you say workhorse, you're thinking about Derrick Henry. Won the rushing title in 2019 with 1,540 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Went to his first Pro Bowl and carried his team to the AFC Championship game. A first down carry for Henry. So able to break through the initial contact and then down right near the 25. At the 25 yard Menardrick line. McKinney there to make the stop. It's second and eight. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Titans seven, Texans nothing. Five on second down. Tannehill. He'll get this one complete to Davis. Touchdown, Titans. Corey Davis with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. And it's good to make it 14 0. Makes the score Titans 14, Texans nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. That's the reason we ball for them. Circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Again on second and ten, Watson looking left side and he's got a man. That's Fuller, and they work this well up field across the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. Three yards, and the Texans first down. First and ten. Watson. He's letting it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Gain of 29 yards. He got 29 yards that time. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and ten at the 23. Again, it's Watson. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Henry, the ball carrier. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. 
take him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Well, that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That was J.J. Watt getting in there and getting him to the ground. And there's a familiar sight, J.J. Watt with the sack, and he's absolutely a force of nature when he's on the field. Unfortunately, he's only played more than eight games once in the last four seasons, but when he plays full-time, he ends up being in the running every time for NFL Defensive Player of the Year, an award he's won three times in the past. Third and long, it's Tannehill. Forced out to his left. Now he'll let it go deep. It's caught inside the 25. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So, two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. We'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. On second down now, it's Henry. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Steven got so simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Made at the 25-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again is Watson. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. They'll contain him to just four, second down. To the air yet again, Watson. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Watson's now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. 
as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Watson looks to throw again, being chased out left. And that will be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. They're going for it. It's Watson. Dancing to his left. Finding fouls complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, Watson flushed out right. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. The Texans here on third down putting an extra defender in the secondary. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. 51 yards on the punt there. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. They're on 16 yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And you gotta think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? And he's gonna go down. Back at his own five yard line, it's a sack. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. Watson will bring up the Texans here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start with a handoff to Johnson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. 
from the 29. Watson, he's letting this one go for Fuller. And that's going to be incomplete. And good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top-10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Dane Crookshank. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish. But you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing. They're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Again, it's Henry. And he's going to be close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Texans' 28. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brings up third and one. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there, that's winning football. And now before they run this play on fourth and one, we're going to get a break and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. A 45-yard attempt. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. They got the interception, but very little movement after. And that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due. And that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Check, check, one, check, check. Operating from the gun, Watson. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. He's had trouble finding open receivers all game, CD, and that's because really there hasn't been many. This defense has been all over them. Yeah, they're one of the better defenses in the league, and every time I talk to someone around the NFL, they all say the exact same thing. They're so fundamentally sound, it's hard to execute against them. Buying time to his left. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Credit the sack there to Harold Landry. Here's Brian Anger now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. This is taken around the 12. A good head down running on the return gets about 15 yards, and it'll be Titan football. 
Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Looking to throw on second down. Tannehill eluding the pressure right. And seeing nowhere to throw, he checks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Well, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? We got four. We got four. Throwing on third down, Tannehill escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he stopped up short of the first as they tap. Him down at about the 36. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Watson on first down. And now here is another interception. Picked off at the 20. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. How about the big boys snagging one? You don't see that every week. No, you don't, but a lot of them are just reliving their old dreams, going back to when they were in youth football and in high school. They didn't always play defensive line. Some of them actually handled the football, and you can see the flashback when he grabbed that one. Zach Cunningham, the leading tackler in the AFC in 2019, is there defensively. And seven at the 12-yard line. On second and seven, Tannehill steps away to his left. And he will not throw it away. He goes out of bounds, well shy of the line of scrimmage, so that's a sack. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Tannehill now to throw. Flush to his right. Hard throw 
incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Steven Goskowski on for the field goal. A 34-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the lead increases even further. It's 27 to nothing now. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal. Please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. Partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. Flushed out right. And his pass incomplete. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Watson on target here to Fuller. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That one covers 29 yards. First down. First down, Houston. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Brings up second and three. At throwing again on second down. Watson got an open man. It's Radley. Watson's and the old pass completion for no gain. Not something you want to call up out of the playbook too often. Yeah, most offensive coordinators don't have that on their play sheet, so they've got to go back and scramble after this one. But right now, with what they're telling... Got a man open. It's Fuller for the Texans touchdown. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, his second touchdown on the season. And the Texans get a bit closer. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And the lead now down to 20. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Five-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive as they try to finish things off in this fourth quarter and that current five-game win streak looking like it's going to go to six. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Tannehill. 
And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now. As he's on to punt for Tennessee. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. First down. From the gun, Watson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Operating from the gun, Watson. He's letting it fly for Cooks. And my goodness, another interception. Picked by Kevin Byard. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. Three yard line. On second and seven, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now. He's been terrific so far. Seven yard punt, a return of four. And the Texans will take over with a first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. First down, Houston. From the 50, it's Watson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. Forced out to his left. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 26. 
Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. On first down, it's Watson. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. A good pickup there, 21 yards. First and goal at the five-yard line. Here's Watson. Screen play, Johnson. No gain on the screen there at second down. Duke Johnson. No gain on the play. Leads to second and goal. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Third and goal now, mere inches from Pater. Out of the gun, Watson. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Harold Landry able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And now here is another interception. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own eight-yard line. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Today's final score. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This is the type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So for Tennessee, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Texans, the loss will drop them to 4-2 and two on the year. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long.
talking to Roll up that Sinatra, flatline mama to the moon